welcome back to Ancient to Alive, where history comes to life right before your eyes. I'm Nick, your guide to the ancient world. Today, we're diving deep into the realm of one of the most formidable predators of the Ice Age, the Smilodon, also known as the saber-toothed cat. With its massive, razor-sharp canines and powerful build, the Smilodon was a true force of nature. Join us as we explore the discovery, life, subspecies, main competitors, and legacy of this iconic, prehistoric cat. The journey of the Smilodon begins with its discovery in the early 19th century, with the first fossils unearthed in Brazil. Named Smilodon from Greek, meaning scalpel or knife tooth, it's a testament to its most distinguishing feature. Scientists have identified various species, including the well-known Smilodon fatalis, painting a vivid picture of its existence. The Smilodon genus is divided into three recognized subspecies, each remarkable in its own right. First, we have Smilodon gracilis, the smallest and earliest of the three, which roamed North America. Next, there's Smilodon fatalis, known for its robust build and found primarily in North and South America. Finally, we encounter Smilodon populator, the largest of the subspecies, which dominated South America. Each subspecies adapted uniquely to its environment, showcasing the evolutionary prowess of the Smilodon lineage. Standing about 4 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 600 pounds, 275 kilogram, Smilodon fatalis was an imposing figure. Its long, curved canine teeth, which could grow up to 7 inches, were perfect tools for delivering fatal bites to its prey. Along with its muscular build, these traits made Smilodon a top predator of its time. Smilodon gracilis was the smallest of the Smilodon species. It weighed approximately 55 to 100 kg, about 120 to 220 pounds. Standing height at the shoulders was roughly around 2 feet to 2.5 feet tall. This species had proportionally smaller saber teeth compared to its larger relatives. Despite being the smallest Smilodon, it was still robustly built with strong forelimbs, suggesting it was a capable predator that relied on power rather than speed. The Smilodon populator was the largest species among the Smilodons and one of the largest felids to have ever lived. It could weigh between 220 to 400 kg, about 485 to 880 pounds, with some estimates suggesting even larger sizes. The height at the shoulders could reach approximately 1.2 meters, almost 4 feet. Smilodon populator possessed the largest canines of the Smilodon species, measuring up to 28 centimeters, 11 inches, in length. Its body was robust and powerfully built, with exceptionally strong forelimbs and broad shoulders designed for grappling with large prey. This species had a short tail and relatively short hind limbs, emphasizing its strength over speed. Each species exemplify the adaptability and ecological diversity of the Smilodon genus, from the smaller, agile Smilodon gracilis, likely preying on smaller herbivores and possibly scavenging, to the massive Smilodon populator, capable of hunting and overpowering large Pleistocene megafauna. Their physical traits reflect their roles as apex predators in their respective environments, showcasing the evolutionary success of the Smilodon lineage across different habitats and prey sizes. From the southern regions of North America down to South America, the Smilodon's territory was vast and varied. This wide range allowed it to become a highly adaptable predator, thriving in different ecosystems across the Americas. Though much of the Smilodon's behavior is shrouded in mystery, evidence points to a possibly social lifestyle, akin to modern-day lions. Living and hunting in packs may have enabled Smilodon to tackle larger prey, a crucial adaptation for survival in the competitive Ice Age environments. Speaking of prey, the Smilodon's diet was diverse, feeding on large herbivores such as bison deer and even young mammoths. Its saber teeth and powerful limbs suggest a hunting strategy that involved ambushing and quickly subduing its prey a testament to its role as an apex predator. In the Ice Age's diverse ecosystems, Smilodon faced competition from several formidable predators. Dire wolves, with their pack hunting strategies, 
were likely competitors for similar prey. Other large cats, including the American lion Panthera atrox, shared its territory and prey sources, leading to potential conflicts. Additionally, the short-faced bear Arcata simus, one of the largest bear species ever to exist, competed with Smilodon for dominance over the landscape. The interactions between Smilodon species and early human species, such as Homo sapiens and Homo erectus, are subjects of ongoing research and speculation, as direct evidence from the fossil record is limited. However, we can make some educated guesses based on the timelines of their existence, the nature of their habitats, and the behavior of early humans. Smilodon gracilis, the smallest of the Smilodon species, lived in North America, and possibly came into contact with early humans towards the end of its existence. Homo sapiens are not believed to have encountered Smilodon gracilis, as modern humans arrived in the Americas much later. Smilodon populator was native to South America, a region that Homo sapiens reached relatively late in prehistory. The timeline suggests that early humans could have encountered Smilodon populator, leading to potential conflicts over territory and prey. Smilodon Phytalis, which lived in both North and South America, might have had the most significant overlap with early humans, particularly in North America. Evidence from sites like the La Briatar Pits includes bones of both Smilodon Phytalis and humans, suggesting they shared environments. Early humans could have encountered these predators while hunting or scavenging, leading to potential conflicts. There might also have been competition for large prey animals, which were crucial food sources for both Smilodon and humans. For all Smilodon species, interactions with early humans, Homo sapiens and possibly Homo erectus in their respective regions, likely varied from competitive to neutral. While direct predation on humans by Smilodon is speculative, the presence of these large predators would have influenced human behavior, encouraging the development of strategies for avoidance, competition, and possibly opportunistic scavenging from Smilodon kills. Despite its adaptations and prowess, Smilodon, like many megafauna of the Ice Age, succumbed to extinction around 10,000 years ago. Factors such as changing climates, habitat loss, and the arrival of humans played roles in its disappearance. Today, Smilodon fascinates scientists and the public alike, symbolizing the mystery and majesty of the Ice Age. In audio. Thank you for joining me on this in-depth exploration of the Smilodon. The story of the saber-toothed cat is a captivating chapter in Earth's history, reminding us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of life on our planet. If you enjoyed this journey back in time, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What ancient creature should we uncover next? Until next time, keep your curiosity alive with Ancient to Alive.